Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth or Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Gemini and let's see what we have for you for the week to come. Nice energy. We've got manifestation. You might be manifesting something or there's something to manifest here. With that, we have protection. So you are protected. Sometimes we adopt that kind of self-preservation, self-protection mode as well. So let's see what we have as an Archangel Michael card for you. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Gemini for the week to come. We have number 41, your loved ones are safe. Let go of your fear and worry for your loved ones. I am looking after them. You might need to hear that this week. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you for the week to come. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guide. Message for the week to come. <clears throat> One more shuffle. Message <clears throat> for Gemini, thank you. Message for Gemini. Okay, I've got three cards there. Nice, we have the Ace of Pentacles there. With that Gemini, we have, okay, the world, endings and beginnings. <clears throat> and we have the Ten of Wands. I mean, there's real sense of completion here or something completing for you. In a very positive way, though. Queen of Pentacles can be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female, or the energy of the card. It can be very good in money areas, can also be very good in terms of healing and health, if that played a part. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles now. I mean, it feels like what brings stability and security... could be a money thing you know that's the focus for a couple I mean this can also be a business partnership too nine of pentacles I mean yeah the whole top row is pentacles energy five of pentacles we've got the two of swords And we have the Two of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Six of Wands. I mean, that's lovely. <clears throat> the energy here, Gemini, um, it looks like you're waiting for some kind of decision. Now, the King and Queen of Pentacles, this is more likely to do with a relationship, but the focus being on money areas, what brings stability and security, because one of you, whether it's you or your other half, may have had some kind of challenges in terms of money. Um, five of Pentacles can be, you know, when we feel lack, when we, when there's changes, could, could even be changes in terms of money areas. Uh, you know, changes in jobs, cut down in working hours, loss of a contract, uh, business not doing well. You know, this can be that kind of scenario here. But I think that you have some kind of, I mean, there's somebody, I mean, this is the energy here of just being very patient, just keeping both feet on the floor, being very resourceful and practical in terms of how you address a situation here. One person could be supporting the other financially. You know, you could be supporting somebody else. They could be supporting you. Uh, but there's a strong sense of financial recovery with these cards. But there's going to be a period, um, certainly during the week, where you're not clear. I think you're, you're just waiting for more information. Intuitively, you know, you feel positive. I think that kind of, it just feels like there's that sense of where you feel positive about what's coming in. And you're just kind of like trusting what your instinct is telling you. But you don't know for sure. I mean, this is the energy here. You always need to trust your instinct with this. I 
I think coming into this reading, you have maybe taken steps to um, bring that sense of change in abundance. I think whether it's to do with interviews, meetings, you know, pitching for work, um, you know, new clients, new business, if it's your own business. I mean, this can be your own business. It could also be a job. Um, for some of you, it could even be a second job, you know, <laughs> however the cards, you know, there's a lot of twos in the reading. So, I mean, there is the potential here of second jobs or second incomes as well, um, especially if there's been changing in your, in your working hours where you don't feel like you're earning enough anymore. Again, it might well be that you're just getting a, a second job. Um, so however these energies manifest for you here, Gemini, I mean, it's a general message, but generally the message remains the same. It's just the specifics will be different for each of you. I think that, uh, again, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, I think that you're waiting for some kind of uh, conversation, um, communication to come in, some kind of decision. It's almost kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to be successful. I don't know if I'm going to get the money. I don't know if, um, you know, I'm... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be successful. So these energies can be, you might be waiting for some kind of decision to come in. I mean, the additional message, like I said to you, it could well be getting a second job and juggling the two. But the Nine of Pentacles is standing in your own abundance on your own two feet, feeling that sense of reaping the fruits of your labor, what you've put energy and effort towards. This is, there's a change in abundance here. I mean, that's the energy. There is a significant change in abundance. By your actions and by not being... You know, I really like what I do like about this is it's not somebody who is is letting their mind wander. It's not somebody who's letting their emotions getting the better of them, though I'm sure in this situation it can be emotional. It's not that at all. Somebody is absolutely being grounded and saying, OK, the situation is what it is. What can I do about it? And being very practical and responding in a very practical manner. And that's really the energy and and even advice for you this week is to kind of keep both feet on the floor, look at your experience, look at your practical skills, abilities, resourcefulness, and really kind of like figure out how you move forward and put some kind of plan into action would be the energy here. Because it feels like by doing that and coming up with some kind of, of, you know, and you might have already put some kind of plan into action coming into this reading as well. So there's either some kind of, uh, you're either waiting for some kind of news to come in or you're either waiting to see if you're going to be successful. I think this is just you're waiting to see if you're going to be successful. But the, the Six of Wands is a card of success. Uh, it's a significant achievement, likely over challenge and, um, you know, uh, obstacles, difficulty, struggle even. Uh, so this is the energy here of, of you're moving on from that and you're feeling pretty empowered. I think that you're kind of, it's almost kind of like problem solving, um, in terms of money. But the Six of Pentacles is definitely this energy of, of uh, very much claiming some kind of victory, significant achievement, success, getting noticed and recognized. But uh, it's, it's a very positive card in terms of significant achievements and feeling pretty good about it. Because <clears throat> the Ten of Wands is telling you a burden is going to be lifted, you know. Uh, finally, whatever that kind of weight, that burden that you've been carrying, whether it's your own business, whether it's to do with job and, you know, opportunities, the weight is is lifting. You know, you have an opportunity to put a burden down because the, the world is actually a card of successful outcomes, but it helps us draw a line under one life cycle and step through to the brand brand new next. But it is a card of victory, triumph, success, achievement, celebrations. You know, it's lovely energy. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, the golden gift. This is the energy here, Gemini, and that's what it feels like. Uh, it's new abundance, whether it's to do with... Um, I mean, you could also... You could also... I mean, I'm not really feeling that, but again, this can be to do with, you know, loans or getting some kind of cash injection in some way as well, if it was your own business, or getting another partner on board, again, with the King and Queen of Pentacles. Um but the Ace of Pentacles can be a new job, a new business opportunity, a new contract, a new client, you know, um, new business of some kind. 
so however that manifests for you, it represents new abundance, but it's the beginnings of something that can really go somewhere. Solid, stable, secure. Whatever you're manifesting, you're absolutely protected. And that's what you're saying. And you understand how to defend and protect your stability and security, certainly financially this week. So you have everything that you need. Generally, when manifestation appears, you've got everything that you need to manifest whatever you want, whatever this outcome is for you, uh, this successful outcome. Does it mean that, you know, you have to kind of respond and adapt to your situation? Yes. But this is really from a point of keeping both feet on the floor, staying practical, staying grounded. And the advice with this kind of energy is not really thinking beyond, you know, where you want to be, you know, um, dealing with the situation as it applies, you know, it's just very practical, grounded energy. What can I do today? I'm not thinking too far into the future. I'm just thinking, what do I need to do today? And it's just that kind of energy that's kind of getting you through what I feel is a very lovely energy of, of the new coming in. And, you know, it feels like some kind of, of weight being lifted and you're stepping through to a brand new phase of your life because there's a real sense of accomplishment. Okay, Gemini, what do we have for you? What do we have for Gemini as a final message? Yeah, it's a journey, but I think this is completing for you successfully. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure when you're ready, when the time comes, pack your passport now. Yeah, you might even, I mean, if this was to do with a new job, for example, you might even take a little break before you start something new. We have light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. I mean, the additional message with the Ace of Pentacles, it can involve moving and relocating as well. So again, if there's decisions on that basis as well, it could be financially. I mean, the same message applies. Um, but yeah, just, just a lovely energy. That's what I have for you, Gemini, for the week to come. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.